Hello guys, and welcome to a new playthrough. This is The St. Christopher's School Lockdown. The St. Christopher's School Lockdown Demo by Classroom Graffiti Productions. And this was kick-started a while back, and I think it's uh, about ready, about completed, about time for completion, I think. And this is the latest demo that I am going to play now. St. Christopher's. Uh, I don't know, I don't speak it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, new game, let's just get into it. Day two, and what happened to day one? 48 hours without a shower. Four hours of sleep on a cold tiled floor. Nobody has... Oh, I don't have time to read it! But I don't know what it said! Oh, perfect. You're here. I've been looking all over for you. Okay. Kaylee. Roger. Really? What's going on? There's a bit of a mutiny going on downstairs. Everybody's complaining about the food and the toilets and the telly. Not again! I knew it was a bad idea to start a protest right before the Big Brother finale. Am I American? I don't think I am. I've got a union flag on my coat. Anyway, Drake sent me. He says we have to go to the pantry and grab all the food we can find. <laughs> <coughs> go to the pantry. Don't forget the ginger ale while you're in there. <laughs> yeah, fine. But first, I need to finish what I'm doing here. If you help me out, I can get this done quickly. No way. Oh, oh, we've got some choices now. No way Drake is going to slaughter me. Mm, okay, what do you need? Well, I think we should probably help him out if he's going to get it done quicker because we don't want to be hanging about. I'm trying to figure out the password for the administrator's account on this computer. Mm, what for? Well, if we have internet, that'll keep everyone quiet for a bit. I need to set up this brute force password cracking executable Stephen gave me, but only he can understand his instructions. I'm going to stop you right there. I have no idea what you're on about. Doesn't matter. What I need you to do is to go and look through Leslie's pigeonhole over there, see if the password is written down anywhere. So, hang on. You need me to check uh, which pigeonhole? Leslie's. Leslie's! You know, the school secretary. Everyone knows Leslie. I don't. Uh, oh, I've got more choices. Uh, of course, that Leslie. I don't know Leslie. Well, I assumed you would know Leslie, Kayleigh. Why wouldn't you know Leslie? Everybody knows Leslie. Roger told us everybody knew her. So why don't you know her? Hmm? Hmm, hmm, Well, I'm guessing since it's an option, she doesn't know her, Leslie. What? You must have met Leslie when you registered for your classes and then spent about 36 hours getting lectured about your poor life choices or maybe that last part only happened to me. Ooh. <laughs> I was just having a laugh. I was just having a laugh, mate. Of course I remember Leslie. I'll go have a look then. Great. Thanks, Kay. Well, how many Leslies could there be? Okay, so she obviously doesn't know Leslie, but she doesn't want Roger to know that for some reason. She's keeping secrets already. Okay, exit. New headmaster. Old headmaster. What do we do? What, what have we got? What have we got? Look. Well, really eagle. An unflattering portrait of a grumpy old man dressed like an undertaker. Okay, so if we right, if we left click, we get our options, and there's only look for that. Oh, very flashy! An unflattering portrait of an aging twit trying to look trendy. <laughs> I think he looks all right. I won't call that unflattering, Kelly. If that's who's supposed to be speaking. Mm, right, exit, exit. So, uh, velvet jacket. Okay. Look. Oh, see, we've got more options now. Look do something and pick up. 
let's look a forgotten blue velvet jacket it's got a bit of a prince flair to it oh, well i don't know about that i was never into that kind of music no no not that cold yet you would if only it wasn't twice your size oh now it's gone into like a second person you briefly consider the cost of getting it altered, but then decide that frivolous financial planning is what got you into this mess in the first place. So apparently the story for this game is that we have taken over the St. Christopher's School and we're involved in a mass protest over something. Since we obviously missed day one, this is day two. I'm not quite sure what's going on. But I'll put the link in the description and you can check it out for yourself. You don't rely on me for information. I only know what I've bothered to look up. Do you know what I mean? Rug. Have a look at it. Whenever you see a rug, the phrase, cut a rug, inevitably pops into your head. It drives you crazy. You sink your feet a bit deeper into the soft woolen pile and that's it, the rug has been used. <laughs> funny, funny, I like it. You will think about it when there are no witnesses. These guys are so judgmental. Yeah, Roger's going to judge us if we take the rug. Wooden bench. This bench is meticulously hand-painted thanks to the woodworking class, no doubt. Roger. Odd place to look for a password hint. Winky. <laughs> I'm just trying to be thorough, replied Kayleigh, unimpressed at Roger's attempts at wit. Not to judge your life choices, but what do you hope to achieve by lifting the bench? I don't know. I'm in control. I want to do it. Let's just go find Leslie's pigeonhole, shall we? What? Leaving already? Everybody acts like this is a party, you know. But there is work to be done. Rog, I'm going to find Leslie's pigeonhole. At least at a party, I get a drunken snog and a slice of stale pizza. Mmm, lovely party. So I can't leave. No, is this all the cooperation I'm going to get from you today? Goodness, no. I was just checking that the lights were turned off in the hallway. Very energy conscious. Of course. Sorry. Okay, so we can't leave. So that's good, actually, because we know we can't leave. So we know we have to find something in here, not out there. Photos. Old sepia photographs document the ongoing battle between resentful teachers and entitled brats. Oh, well, I guess I'm an entitled brat, aren't I? <laughs> None of this pictures seems to hold the key to the mysterious allegedly none of these pictures i believe should be the correct terminology there kayleigh you entitled brat you would love a wall of massed photographs at your place but the subject holds no interest to you what is the subject i don't know hmm okay what's this we can exit this way apparently we have to go to a pigeonhole. So we'll find a pigeonhole first. No, oh, here we go, here we go. No, oh, we don't know her name. We don't, these look like surnames. Cubby holes. As you dutifully inspect the cubby holes, you discover they have been labeled with the owner's names. Most considerate. Okay, Adams, Allen. Oh, they're in alphabetical order. Lewis, Lane, Lloyd. There's no bloody Leslie! Leslie? Where are you? But these appear to be surnames. I don't know Leslie's surname. Could it? I think it's Quinn. I'm going to go for Quinn. That sounds right. Mmm, we have to find a surname then. Mm, on the road, on the road, looking for fun. 20 hours on a, in a smart car to get to Paisley. Only a born masochist. That's very insulting to smart cars, Kayleigh. They are very economical. Okay? So you should think about that. Next time. 
you try and make a joke about someone's car choice. Two ah uh, Pomeranian. Are uh, people really that gullible? Two perfect Pomeranian puppies looking for a loving home. Benson on the right is a tiny bit territorial and loves garden life. 150 quid. Lulu on the left is adorable, home trained and doesn't yap at all. She's a bit more expensive at £300, but if you buy them together, we can make a special prize. Award winning mum and dad. Mum and dad? I think she'd be mum. Mum with a U, please. This is not America. Actually, I think some places in England, in Britain, do actually say "mom." So don't you know? Don't don't get too angry at me. I don't know. We say "mom," yeah. <laughs> People that gullible. Somebody's. Let's hope this is not the calligraphy teacher. Someone is carving twat into every classroom desk. Clearly, this is unacceptable behaviour. <laughs> <laughs> report if if I can't read it because it's over the thing if I don't know what it says calling all teachers you wonder how the soup would the custodial staff will be hosting their second annual holiday season after school poetry slam this year we have a new custodian on the block Billy Murdoch along with last year's favourite and the oldest custodian staff Doc Mc. Donald, who, who wowed the crowd with his scintillating experimental piece, Toilets, Terror, and Too Little Time. Oh, yes, I think we've all, all been there. Too little time. Not enough time to get to the toilet. I don't know if that's what it's about, but anyway. This year's event will be catered by the ACF, who will be bringing their newest soup creations for the staff to try. Okay, whatever. New restaurant, I'm not seeing anything, so if you want to read any of these, I guess you can just pause it. I mean, this is the thing with adventure games. Good adventure games, I think, have a lot of things in to read, because that's how you find out the story, isn't it? You by reading and talking to people, and that is what sets adventure games apart from every other game. Patacini Bistro and Takeaway opens tonight in Glebe Street. It starts life as a Scottish, Italian, Confucian enchantment. A selection from the tasting menu includes haggis three ways. I don't know what that is, but I don't think I want it. Black pudding and a Romana. White pudding, parmigianino and spa. Tiramisu. <laughs> Look, is there any Leslie name on this, please? <laughs> Can't know if I've done that. Crochet, croquet, crusade. A Miss Munro. Yes, well, we don't. That could be her name, Leslie Munro. Headline seems to be advertising the event title Crockfest. You wince internally at the misguided name choice. Why? Why is it misguided? I don't understand. Obviously, this goes way over my head. Okay, so there's nothing. What's this? I can't read that. Okay, nothing on here about bloody Leslie. Let's just see if Roger knows. Roger, do you know Leslie's surname? Because I don't. Spitty. Great, you found the password. No. Nah, just wanted to ask you a few things. Um, okay, but be quick. I really need to figure out how to get this program running. Uh, what's wrong with... Oh, don't, can't we ask about the name? Look, this isn't a hotel and I'm not the front desk. It's not my job to fix everybody's problems. But you must have foreseen some practical situations. What's going to happen now that all the vending machines are empty and people are running out of cigarettes? And what's going to happen the day we have to pay a fortune to go to university? This is a political protest, not a day at Thorpe Park, Kelly. You entitled brat. Why don't you think of other people for a change? Well, go and give another rousing speech to the morons in the gym, then. All they can talk about at the moment are the blocked toilets and lack of crunchy bars. Mm, well, that is a problem. 
if I was involved in a protest such as this, a lack of crunchy bars would be my number one concern. So I'm with you there, Kales. I'm going to call her Kales from now on, I think. And I'm going to call Rog. A Rog. How long do you think my man is No fucking clue! No fucking clue! <laughs> Are you serious? Didn't you plan this beforehand? Eh, uh, kinda. Well, more like not really. I'd been batting around the idea, but I only made up my mind for sure the day before I did it. That's when I told Drake. Nobody else knew. What's wrong with Drake? Ha! Where do I start? I mean, he just sent two guys to detention for spraying fuck pigs on a vending machine. And they surely deserved a medal for trashing the place. No, but detention? Really? No wonder people are leaving Roger. No wonder people are leaving Roger. Next to a bit of cane. See, the problem is we could end up having to pay a fortune just because some idiot drew a dick on the first edition of the Canterbury Tales. Dude, this is a school, not a, not a louvre, louvre, L la, louvre, I don't know. What? Did you sleep through the open day tours? It's one of our school's selling points. Morty talks about little else. What, what's Leslie's surname? No. <sighs> uh, what's Leslie's bloody surname? Draw. Open a bloody draw, Kales. Okay. Well, um, uh, the, 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 the umbrella. Look. Looks, it's a brolly. Okay, so you just felt like using the word brolly. Nothing wrong with that. You say to yourself reassuringly. <coughs> it would be. That's what we say. Brolly. It's perfectly acceptable, Kales. Last time you checked, it wasn't raining. Then again, this is England. This is England. Your collection of stolen umbrellas doesn't need this boring addition. Okay, then fine. Fine. Okay, but, oh, let's see. What about the cabinet? Anybody got a trophy? Grand Polo winners, 1949. Yikes. 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 So scooby. <laughs> You study careful the trophies, carefully the trophies, and then study them again. There doesn't seem to be a better use for this cabinet. No, it's a trophy cabinet, so I guess trophies are what it's for. You definitely lift the trophy cabinet and place it in your pocket for the lady. Oh, ha ha, so funny, so sarcastic. No, ha ha ha. <laughs> Trunk. Come on, there's got to be some surname. Isn't this a trunk where teachers keep all the things they steal from the students? Somebody mentioned that earlier this morning. Uh, so what, this is like the faculty lounge, I guess, then. The staff room, as we used to say. What is taking you so long? Just tell me if you find anything in Leslie's cupboard. We don't know what her name is. Do you only know I'm a phony? Fuck. Phony? Why? Why are you a phony? Just because you don't know Leslie's don't mean you're a phony, Kelly. Have more, you know, belief in yourself. Can't I open the bloody thing? Yeah, oh, shut up, Roger. You're all getting on my tits. Okay, what's this? Knitting, knitting, where is it? Knitting bag. An eco-conscious knit bag made of recycled burlap. Yes, yeah, save the planet. One thread at a time. Oh, she's so sassy, this one. As soon as you grab the knitting needles and some yarn, your joy is brutally interrupted. Why? What's taking so long? The uh, Magnets. Come on, there's got to be something somewhere. There seems to be an ongoing battle. See, you could travel to the furthest place on Earth. Tunisia, Tunisia, Machu Picchu, Leeds. So, oh, Leeds is very pleasant this time of year, actually, Kelly. Don't make fun of Leeds. It's my town, okay? <laughs> Best sleeve the moon, whatever. Where's the fucking name? This fridge appears to have not been cleaned since the Thatcher administration. Okay. Hungry as you are, the thought of eating anything from this fridge gives you instant 
typhoid. Nah, not even a charity shop would pick this up. Focus. Right. Don't focus. You don't need your bedroom. You don't think your bedroom needs a creepy overbearing stare of an owl watching you sleep. I do, actually. That would motivate me. Education is not the filling of a pail, but the lightning of a fire. William Butler Yeats. Well, very cool. I could do it some... The hell? Oh, a note. Okay, it's got to be on it. The poignant note reads, This is the fourth kettle in one year, and there will be no fifth at your choice. Well, that explains the chain on the kettle, then. Oh, no, 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 no! I don't know what to do! There's another X here. Now, we've gone round in a circle. Uh, shut up, Roger. Closet. Janet's cupboard. Don't bother, I already checked there. Oh, well, you're bloody smart then, aren't you? Suitable container for a pitiful looking plant. One has to celebrate the intention, no. Unless you're in the mood to do some weightlifting, you see no point. Hmm, <laughs> metal plate. So now and then, to celebrate our 100th anniversary, our headmaster Mortimer Jenkins reenacts the pose of our first headmaster, Douglas McEnroy. McEnroy. Portrait of Frederick Cooper, head of the Arts Department, commissioned by the St. Christopher School Board of Directors. Oh, God, I can't find... Hat. And every Panama Jack hat looks a bald spot. A tactic used by your uncle Vincenzo to great effect. No, oh, she's put it on. Oh, she kind of has. You fall for the siren call of cute hats every time. Sadly, hats only make your head look gigantic. Yes, I know that feeling. I've got a big head too. <laughs> He's, uh,. Have it at your... Okay, we've got a hat. What's this? Keyring? No, I never saw this. See, you fancy keyring with a solitary key. The key to the pantry. Where is the pantry? Before leaving, you better remember to give this key to Roger. Okay. Uh, Rod, Rod, how do I get it? Uh, there we go. Keep them, please. We'll get to the pantry as soon as we're done here. Well... <laughs> I seem to be a bit stuck because I can't find Who is actually speaking to us here? Is she saying this, or is it like some some other entity speaking to us? I thought she was saying it. This type of wing chair belongs in the house of someone with a double barrel name. It took a big fall in life to end up here. If you stand on the tip of your toes, you can grab the lacrosse sticks. No need to climb. This chair would look nice in your flat, but you'll need to clear some floor space to fit it in. You wonder if you will ever be able to go to your flat again. The cross sticks. Now, yeah, come on, bloody thing. The cross sticks. Now, how bourgeois can you get? Oh, I don't know. This is a team sport. Start by finding the other players, then get a ball, etc. So, so that's what I thought. That I thought she was saying this, but I don't think she is. We are supposed to be her, and then some other mystical third person entity is speaking. 
Okay, so now we've got some lacrosse sticks, a straw hat, and we can't get into this confiscated items. Sconce light. Swiss cheese plant. Sometimes you find it hard to believe that plants are living creatures. In this case, your gut feeling is more than justified. You are not into salads. I am actually. You got yourself a rather needy household plant. Take oh, I've taken the plant now. Plant, lacrosse stick, straw hat, and a key ring. But no bloody clues as to Leslie's bloody surname. I guess we just have to check everywhere. What's wrong with these teachers? Every staff room has a full collection of rag magazines on the table. Of what magazines? Much of you, much as you deserve a good cup of coffee, some Jaffa cakes, and a fag, this is not the time for a rest and recreation. You struggle as you manage to lift the table up one whole centimetre. Proud of yourself? Yeah, actually. Rogue. Woven plastic beads, how quaint. You are, in fact, using it. You want to pick up the entire carpet? Why on earth? Oven, use it. There are cleaner ways to commit suicide. Ha 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 ha. Stove. Looking at the stove, you hope the teachers bring home cooked lunches. You turn on the gas, you turn the gas on to no effect. Typical! Everything you've seen so far is a denial of comfort. Petite bourgeois conventions and some pipes prevent you from doing so. Oh, bloody hell. Tell me if you find anything. I can't. Why can't we just tell him? We don't know her name. Why? Just do it. Oh, shut up, Roger. Bloody leave me to it. So I like their level of detail, actually. Uncle Morello. Oh, Morello. That's Morello's in my Mafia playthrough. That's a coincidence. I we'll would never forgive you for resorting to lackluster coffee beans. This offensive appliance has no place in your future, immediate or otherwise. Microwave, quite dirty, but you recognise this as a half decent model. Very convenient for making cheese on toast. That's, that's true, actually. I make cheese on toast in the microwave. Who doesn't? Once you find the password, you'll have a go at it. Perhaps there is some cheese in the fridge. On second thoughts, the best avoid food poisoning. Ah, <sighs> sink. <laughs> Damien Hurst joke. <clears throat> okay, this is just not going well at all. I have no idea how. There's nothing on the note. There's nothing on the bulletin board. I checked everything. What's this? Can't check that. Calling all teachers. Nothing on there. Custodial staff on the road. Contact Martin McGibbon, Home Economics. Okay, so we know Martin's name. Martin McGibbon. Miss Monroe. Thinking <coughs> about Haggis. Teachers, the ACF, a conglomeration of faculty members from the Astronomy, Health and Food Safety Departments have a groundbreaking new startup for you all to sample astronomical soups. English department. No Leslie. Herbert Price. Ch 
posted by Herbert Price. Okay, so Herbert Price, Martin McMullen, Sonia Wood. Miss Monroe. Oh no! Please enter the surname on the cubby hole you are planning to raid. Leslie Allen. Oh, so we just have to go through all of these. Clark keeps each other for a future home improvement. Focus main in the kitchen. A letter from Tiles Arrows gives away his full name. Howard Desmond Allen. I thought it was Quinn. No, no, Quinn. Quinn, Quinn. -er. After you finish checking a mountain of trivia, you realise brute force is not the way to go. Oh, God! Oh. in. Help. Click on the insignia to access your locker in game menu. Use escape to get out of all menus. Map and view do walls are disabled for this demo. The inventory bar is at the top. If determined to do it, the tab key flashes the hotspots. Oh, okay. Mood is affected by your lifestyle decisions. You are given 30 seconds to study your options. You do not know the questions yet. Exercise your memory. Study the choices which will benefit you. I don't know what this is. You will be given five phrases. Complete each one with the best matching option. The scales at the bottom show how well you are doing. You can replay the games as many times as needed. Oh, that's my locker look. No, no, no. Oh. Well guys, I accidentally uh, exited the game there, so I guess we'll leave that episode there and pick it up in part two where I shall make some progress, I promise. So, bye!